In this video, I'm going to show you how to freelance as a web designer. I'll be covering the most important tools that will give you a seamless workflow. All right, so the first tool we're going to use is ZipWP. Now, this is very important because this is where you'd go in and design your websites. Now, you may be thinking, why can't I just design my sites on the actual server? Well, first of all, it is very difficult to do it on a server because there's a lot of configurations that you need to do and it takes longer. So using a system like ZipWP, you are able to add all your websites for all your clients. For this account, I have up to 20 websites, which means I could work with 20 clients. So what I would do now, let's say I get client A that's interested in a website. So I'll come over here, create new, and then I'll go to blank website and let's call this company A. Okay, so that's our company name. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. All right, now look at that. I can just click on one click login and I'm already into my client's website, which I'm developing for them. Okay, so at this stage now, you're thinking, okay, I need to uh, add some plugins and some themes and so on. Well, that's even easy. I can just come over here. I just clean this up a little bit. And by the way, once you set this up, you can also save it as a blueprint. I have a video that I've created where I show you how to create blueprints in ZipWP and that also enhances your workflow. All right, so let's say it's time now to start developing my site. So I would come over here to appearance. I'll go to themes and perhaps maybe I want to install a brand new theme. In this case, I'll be using say DV5. I'll click here on upload theme, choose file. Now I know I have DV5 somewhere in my downloads folder. Let's go ahead and locate it. So I'm just gonna go down here. I must have, okay, there we go. Double click on that. Click on install now. So this is going to act as my base for designing this website. Okay, so let's go ahead and activate this. Click here to activate. And okay, I won't bother to log into create that. So the next step now is, um, let's say we're going to uh, create a page. I'll come over here to pages, click on add new page. So we're going to call this the home page. Use Divi Builder. And in this page, I'm just going to enter a single column and let's add some, let's add a heading like that. So let's say this is company A. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do here. We're not going to design a full blown website. This is just for demo purposes only. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And I'm going to save it as well. All right, so now let's exit. So back over here on our site. I can see now that I have a page here that's, that has no title. I'm just going to go back in quickly and do a quick edit. And I'm going to name this as my home page. Okay. Right. So now we have a home page. The final thing is to come over here to appearance. Then we're going to go to menus. And let's just add our home page. First of all, let's create the menu. So our menu here is going to be main menu. And this is going to be our primary menu, create menu. And now I can add the page to the menu. Okay, so that's going to be a basic menu. Now, finally, I just need to set this as my home page. So we're going to go to settings, reading, and then just set this as a static page. So these are the processes that you'll be going through as you're designing your website. Of course, if you're using SiteCrafter, all this is done for you plus more. All right, so I'm pretty much uh, happy with that. Now let's click on a visit site. So when you visit a site, we can see here that we have this is company A and let's just pretend that this website is complete. The client is super happy. And remember to show the client the website, what you need to do, and this part is very important. All you need to do is to share this link, okay? So when I click here to view this site, you take this link, copy it, put it in an email and send this to your client. So this is where your client is seeing all the, the developments, okay? Because this is a fully fledged development platform. 
So they're looking at all the developments and let's say they come to a point where they say, you know what, we are happy with the website, it's all good. Now it's time to host it. So how do you do that? Well, this takes us now to the second tool. So our first tool was ZipWP. Our second tool now is WP Vivid. All right, let's go ahead and let me show you how to do this. All right, so back over here. Oops, where's my website? Okay, we're going to go back to our dashboard here and install a plugin called WP Vivid. So I'm going to click on Add New Plugin. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and search for the plugin. All right, let's hit search and here it is. I mean, this plugin is a, it's so amazing, it's unbelievable. This is the plugin that you'd use to migrate your website from ZipWP onto the hosting company. So let's go ahead and install this. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Now, while this is happening, over here now is the proper hosting company. And this is xCloud, by the way, it's a hosting company. So let's say you're hosting the website for your client or they have their own hosting account. This is where now they'll just give you access temporarily to go in and install a blank WordPress website, which is what I've done here. And I've also called it Company A, okay? So this is the website, it's blank, there's nothing going on on it. We are going to do the same thing. We're going to install WP Vivid. So it's the same plugin as I installed here. In fact, we might as well go ahead and activate this, okay? All right, so now it's activated. We're gonna come over here to our site that's on the real server now. Okay, we're gonna go in, click uh, on this WordPress icon, and we're gonna come down here to plugins, and then click on add new plugin. Now you wanna make sure that this is absolutely free from any designs. It's need, it needs to be a blank WordPress website, and then you add your WP Vivid, like that, search. And we're just going to install it just like how we did on the other side. So once installed, we're going to go ahead and activate it. Great. So and now we have our company website, which is this one. Yeah. All it has is WP Vivid. And this is on the actual server. Back over here now, we are on ZipWP. And what we need to do now is to create a backup. Okay. And it's very easy. All you have to do is to click over here, backup. And we need to, we are backing up every, we are backing up everything, by the way, because we selected database plus files. So it's backing up pretty much everything. Okay. So now you can see we have our backup down here, right? So we can click on that or we can just go ahead and download it. Okay. It's easier that way. We just download this file. Now this file is very important. Let's go ahead and click on download as well. Now this file is very, very important because this is the same file that we need to restore on the website on the actual server. All right, so now that it's downloaded, let's head over now to our company website that is on the server. Now this one here does not have DV installed. It has nothing on it. So what you wanna do now is to go ahead, click on dashboard because we need to go into WP Vivid. Here we go. So I'm gonna click on that. Now remember on the other side, we clicked backup. This time around now, we need to restore. Okay, so I'm gonna click on upload. Okay, now let's look for the file that we've just downloaded from ZipWP. So I'm gonna click on select files and here it is. Double click on that. I'm gonna click on upload. I can see here it's uploading 90, 100%. Okay, cool. Now I can click on save. So to restore our website now that we had in, on ZipWP, we just need to come over here and click on restore. Again, I'm gonna click on restore one more time. It's asking me, are you sure you want to continue? I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And now we are going to see a, a copy of the website on ZipWP being added now onto our actual server. It will bring pretty much everything over and it's just done. Okay, we are 92%, we're almost done. But remember, this is going to um, take long or take short based on 
the size of the website and your internet connection. All right, so now it's saying restore completed successfully. I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. Right, so now it's asking me to log in because remember, our login details now are different because they have been taken from this website from ZipWP. So I wanna try something quickly here, just in case you might not have this feature. So this is our company, uh, this is our company A website, which we've just restored. I'm just gonna do a quick refresh. You can see here the thumbnail has changed. So if I go to magic login, this now is going to allow me to go to the website. Now, look at this. This is now all clean, like how I had it. Or I can click here on visit site. Now, this is company A. And take a note of this URL. You can see now this is not on ZipWP. So the site on ZipWP has been added onto my hosting site. Okay, so that's one way to go in. But if you have a hosting uh, company that does not have this feature, where you can do a magic login. So what you need to do now is to head over to ZipWP. In fact, we don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna close out of here. So you need to go back to ZipWP. So this is company A. This is the actual website. You click on these three little dots here and you can see here we have login credentials. So you click on that and now you have your username and password. So this is what you need to copy. You come over here and paste the username like that. Next, you want to come over here, copy the password, back over here, you go into the password field. Of course, you want to click on remember me and then log in. So you can see now I'm logged in. So the ideal thing to do now is to head over to your users and make sure that you update all this information. And the most important part is you need to also update the uh, password. Okay. Here we go. So you add your new password. So you don't have to rely now on the password, which is from ZipWP. So this is the process. So the first thing you need to do, sign up for ZipWP. You can design all your websites in here. I mean, up to 20 websites. As you're designing your website, your client can look at that temporary link to see the progress and also give you some feedback. Now, once the website is complete and everything is fine, this is where you use the WP Vivid plugin on the actual website on ZipWP, you download the backup and then restore it on the actual server on whatever hosting website it is. So this is my recommended uh, process of designing a website or designing websites as a freelance web designer. Let me know what you think. What is your process? How do you do it? Let me know in the comments box below. Till next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.